In this video, you will learn how to create a backbone assignment project. Before this, you need to create all spectrum files, including NHSQC, HNCSP, and CBCSUNH. If you are ready, run Pocky. If you are familiar to NMRFAM Sparky, you will easily use Pocky as well. You can open each spectrum by file and open. But much easily, Pocky provides a drag and drop function. You can simply load all the files by drag and drop on the main window. Moreover, you will realize that the Pocky has a fancy interface that includes numerous buttons. There are buttons for changing mouse, mouse pointer mode, tab widgets, several buttons for useful tools, and user support uh, buttons. I hope you enjoy exploring this new Pocky interface. Let's back to our main task. If you first open the spectra, they will look messy. Select one spectrum and type CT. You can change the control option and the color of signals from, the, from this window. You can also use an alternative method to change the contours. Type VC, be sure that the C should be capital. You can change the contour by simply clicking these buttons. Use upper buttons for positive signals and the lower for negatives. Now, if you, if you see the main window, you will find the PHT, PAG tab, Pocky Automation Guide. For now, you can only see the guidelines for protein animal experiments. The guidelines for other experiments will be updated. In this video, we will learn up to the fifth step. Select one of the spectra and type YT. You can synchronize the views by connecting each axis. Next, create the peaks. The simplest way to create peaks on a spectrum is to letter code RT. Change the pointer mode to the add find peak mode and select the NSHQC window. Be careful not to click on the spectrum. Type RT and click word button. Click apply mode to pick all the signals on the spectrum. You can use RT to create peaks on the other spectra, but for now, uh, I will use restricted peak picking method. Type KR and select the HNCB, HNCACB spectrum. Change the template spectrum to NHSQC. Set tolerances and click pick picks. Using the same method, create peaks on the CBCACO-NH spectrum. You can now align the two spectra, HNCSB and CBCSUNH. Type AA and select CBCSUNH for the first row and select HNCSB for the second row. Click Auto Align, uh, then the two spectra will be aligned automatically. Now let's load the sequence file. Type SQ and open the sequence file. 
you can use one of the uh, file formats, including SEQ, FASTA, and text files. Uh, set the first legend number as you want and click OK. Type SQ again to check the sequence is the sequence is loaded uh, properly. Finally, let's create the project file. First, save the spectrum files individually. You can do this by select, selecting a spectra, spectrum and type FA. If you saved all spectra, then type JA. You can now save and load the whole spectra and setups as one project file. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it.